Did I not think I was going to get a proposal when I first saw these? Hey, when? <laughs> Can you hear that? It's the sound of a lot of rain. It's another rainy Saturday. Right, but also with all these corona cases going up, with the Delta variant involved, it just doesn't make sense to be frolicking out and about. And I'm thinking to myself, Hmm, what to do? And then it hit me. Apartment tour. Think it's enough of this face. Ew, this morning face. <laughs> yes, please do not judge my very, very tired sleep headwear. Anyway, without further ado, 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 ado. What is it? Is it a do? Or do? Either way, uh, yeah. let's get to it. Let me first just watch his kimsam. I need to see what Meki is going to do with the fact that Ukwaito Sega Vuhile. And then shower, maybe. Eat Ama Conflicts Nyana. And then get into it. You're an upset man. Hey, yo, I get he or get Linda. Alright, we are done. We got a girl. We got a purple. Mm, purple girl. Oh, we got a purple girl. Obviously, I'm done showering. Uh, uh. Stop with the antics. Just go take the trash out, Mm-hmm. Hey, yeah, no. I don't like going to be four now, not at all. With all the stink fest, lots of flies roaming around. It's just the devil's playground down there. Uh, ugh. Anyway, it has to be done. I've taken out the trash. And now I think it's time for me to actually begin my highly anticipated place of stay. At least according to moi. I've been wanting to do this for a while, actually. I've lived here for, what, now nine months? Because I moved in here in October last year 2020 it's crazy to think that it's almost a year I've been here for quite some time and the moment i moved in here i knew that i wanted to capture where i'd be staying for the for the rest of the year i guess today is that day i think i will start now so where to begin As you enter, there is a sensor light, motion detecting light that comes on upon arrival. So this is like, hypothetically, what would happen if I were to come into the apartment. Well, hello there. Who is this? Look ma, no hands. When you enter, it detects your motion driven self, it detects movement. So that's what happens when you move. The light comes on, on its own. 
It does this because what well, I think why it does this is or why they felt there's a need for it to be here is mostly because you know, with Korean culture, and I think I've mentioned this before at some point in my existence, that you need to take off your shoes upon entering somebody's home or a school for that matter. So any place that is not public, you, and it's more of a private sphere, chances are you will need to take off your shoes. It's just highly respectable and one thing's for sure is that it definitely keeps the house clean and I think that's just something that's embedded in my brain uh, so much so that it's something I think I would definitely continue on even when I'm back home at some point. Okay, so there the sensor just went off and then the moment I move, see? Yeah, so that's for you to see your shoes when you take them off and also because this apartment, the only natural source of lighting comes from the bedroom, which is a bit of an issue because most of the house relies mostly on artificial lighting. But anyway, that's, that's, that's besides the point. It opens, right? Obviously, the door opens, duh. And then it locks on its own. Let me open it again. When you see the blue light, it means it's unlocked. And then once that red light comes on it automatically locks on its own okay so i have two pairs of indoor shoes my slip-ons and my slippers i would usually just put them in here but because i use them quite often there's no need to be putting them in the cupboard so this is the shoe cupboard yeah so out of all the pair of shoes i like these ones have got to be my fave. These are my walkabouts. My granny hooked me up before I came to Korea with these wannabe all-stars, but they I love these shoes. Anyway, thanks, Cox, my bestie. Uh, yeah, so ideally, I also would have liked to hang the my headband on the wall using Daiso stick-on hooks that you can get but you know I never got around to do it so it remained like this oh also this Alice band this wacky wacky Alice band has such a cute memory to it I got it uh, actually it was given to me by a very good friend of mine we had gone to Everland uh, on the 5th of May of this year which is Children's Day Everland is a, an amusement park, uh, one of the two biggest ones, that and Latte World, so really cool. So that's my morning prayer book. And then here I've got, okay, I got this, this bracelet at Coex Aquarium. Here is my mask, lanyard, mask. Hey, we're we on this ah, ah tip, this American ah, ah instead of ah, ah. This is my mask, um, lanyard. Okay, one of my old kids my former morning kid slash now afternoon kid got me this a few days ago i love it um as it goes dark let there be light and then this i got at insadong and then this one last year this is very messy i know i'm trying to organize my life i feel like it's redundant getting hooks from daiso now because time has left my side and then i have okay fenty beauty sephora hooked a sister up especially when it comes to skin tone issues not finding the right skin tone or shade here for obvious reasons and then i have every sun bought that with me from sa bought like three four bottles i think they were on special at Diskim. deodorant is uh, hella expensive here we know this um, from a supposed missing gene as a result like body spray is very very expensive here because the market is very small um, so I've heard and then oh my honey Kali Wam sweetie Wam I miss him oh, my baby 
Mm, got me these earrings. Birthday two years ago. Shall we see what's inside? <sighs> Did I not think I was gonna get a proposal when I first saw these? Hey, when? <laughs> Moving on. Um, here's some cupboard space. Okay, we don't have to show this disarray of a cupboard, disorganized. Um, and then we have, okay, we don't need to see that catastrophe. What I like about these cupboards though, you see how I just swiftly try to close a banging attempt, which failed dismally because these are actually slow closing cupboards. Oh, that's a tongue twister. Slow closing cupboards to avoid the banging sound. And this is uh, the case for most of the cupboards here. Yeah, I'm still at the door. Uh, I meant to do a seasonal clothes swap change, you know. I did it in the beginning of summer, but because I'm having issues with suitcase space and luggage, well, most of my winter clothes, at least the bulky things, like the very thick things, are away. By a good miracle, I was able to get them into one suitcase. You need really thick clothing here when it comes to the winters in Korea. They are unforgiving. They are absolutely unforgiving. Um, so that's why there are some mixture. There's, there's a mixture of summer and, and winter stuff here. Mostly summer, but the winter stuff that's there just already like irks me because looking at it makes me hot. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to the bathroom which is near the door. Okay, so let's just get into this very quickly. This is a master switch. So it controls the lighting from everywhere in the house. You know, I've become quite the detailed type. I like the wallpaper. It's textured wallpaper here. But anyway, let's not dwell too much into the wallpaper because knowing me, I'll write an entire essay on just the wallpaper. This is the master switch, see? That's, that switches on the bathroom, it switches on the whole house, basically. Without it, you see how this, this switch is on, right? And then the moment you switch off the master switch, voila, it switches off the entire, in its entirety. So I think this is a very practical measure with regards to when you are racing out of the door, you're late for school. That helps, you know, when you haven't switched off one or two things prior to leaving, you just switch off the master switch and there you go. Yeah, so I just think the master switch is very practical, especially because the utilities here can be very outrageous. The utility bill, the electricity, so switching that off is like guarantees that you'll somewhat save the electric boxes here and then going into the bathroom okay so where to start with the bathroom so this is the whole bathroom basically um just a standard bathroom there are bathroom shoes and um, it's just a thing here in the country where you have a shoe for everything you have outside shoes you have indoor shoes you have bathroom shoes so someone probably lived in this apartment before me and someone before that and before that and that and and it goes on and on just a standard thing like having bathroom shoes here because yeah we know that every floor has its fish of bacteria and just to not be at risk of athlete's foot bathroom shoes just for me just seem sanitary everywhere i go if the career is no different i always bring um flip-flops um, especially if I know I'm going to sleep over, uh, maybe not friends' houses, but like anywhere else, just a habit, I bring flip-flops. So the same principle and mentality goes for the bathroom shoes. And then we have our toilet here. Uh, these are one of those electrical toilets. You switch it on and it helps with warming up your bum bum. <laughs> it's, it, it heats the seat and I never really use it that much. But for those that are into that, go for it. Moving on to the sink. Just a standard sink. Nothing special about that. Me again. Hi. Um, one thing I must say about Korean bathrooms is it's very rare to find a, a shower that is divided 
from the rest of the bathroom so basically a place to wash is very difficult because most of the time the shower heads like my old apartment would hover over the the actual toilet because they prioritize getting everything in there over space and the bathrooms tend to be very small that's why when i saw this place i was sold because the bathroom in and of itself like was none like any other i've seen in korea because the shower had its own space to shower <laughs> I don't know if I have pictures, maybe if I have pictures from my old apartment, I'll give you uh, uh, an idea of what I'm talking about. I'm walking in and I'm gonna put, so this is like, okay. So this is the moldy patch. This is the problematic wall. I've cleaned it because there's some kind of bacteria that's on this wall that I constantly have to clean. Like you see here, this I can't clean. Like this is gross so in any case like i don't put anything the side this i need to put your shoes here you know korean style this is the cupboard space like, it's not that much unfortunately also put some of my shoes here and then here's the bathroom the infamous bathroom that i hate with all my heart marisa's is better because like she there's a separation between the shower and the toilet so as you can see the um, the shower head overlooks, it hovers over the toilet, you see, so every day it's wet. But here's the mirrors, like right here and everything, um, fine. But anyway, so it's quite big, quite spacious, which I like. And especially because you have a shower door, which prevents water from going all over the shower. That's why we like it here. Yeah, the counter space, some um, hand wash, we need that hand wash on call all the time. Some retinol cream, because honey, with the hyperpigmentation we've been getting these days on our nose, you'd swear we were born with freckles. Anywho, okay, moving on from the bathroom, let's switch on the master switch, because we'll probably need that later for a lighting. Moving on to the main event, vent, vent, the actual apartment, as if we were not in the actual apartment two minutes ago. One of the first things that caught my eye upon arrival, the high ceilings, I was obsessed. I loved how high they were, complete antithesis to my previous apartment, very high ceilings. The aircon always on, some lights, there's a huge ass chandelier hovering over the massive counter space we have here in the kitchen. Also another selling point for me. Really was a big fan of the counter space, something I lacked obviously in my old apartment i really just like my old apartment if that wasn't obvious this this is the kitchen okay let's start here okay i think maybe it's best to switch on the the mini light over there for a better look very practical for one person it gets the job done i have here like have some more cover space just to put extra nitty gritties here and there like oh, there's just a lot that i have to tidy up on to be honest with you i could have obviously done it for the purpose of this video but i wanted it to be as natural as possible because no house is just squeaky clean hey forgive me crucify me if if y'all are like disgusted by how messy it is it is what it is this is like my favorite corner i like this corner mostly because i mean this just is part of my 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 memorabilia as a teacher part of teacher's day you know like the kids will give you these some of these things to say hey teacher thank you hence nomvuyo teacher thank you that one and like the parents will also just write the most beautiful of letters yeah no um teacher's day hands down is one of my favorite days because this is where the parents really pour out their hearts sometimes in letters and in as much as they don't 
understand or may not speak English, whatever they put through Papago. Papago is the Korean version of Google Translate. Hey, no, it tugs at the heartstrings. It makes you want to cry. So this one says, Numbuyo teacher. This is from Daniel, my current student's mom. This year, I got it this year. Thanks so much for being so passionate about teaching my son, Daniel. I feel extremely grateful to have you as my child's preschool teacher. Have a wonderful day. Like, honestly, this is just a few of the letters I've received. And um, interesting story about the B, Numbuyo. Uh, most of the time, my name is spelled with a B instead of a V because with when it comes to Hangul, because with Hangul, which is the Korean language, written language, Hangul Ma is the language, the spoken language. Hangul is the written language. They don't have the B consonant sound. So they replace the V with a B. Um, it was created by King Sojong with the working class in mind um, hundreds of years ago. But anyway, just a very beautiful bouquet. And this is from last year's Teacher's Day. This is from this year's Teacher's Day 2021. The, the parent gave me that. I could never afford so much for a Rocher. And moving on, we have a stove. It's a two plate. Again, as one person staying here, it's enough for me. Sometimes it can be a bit of a schlep. If you're a, a cooker, if you have mad, wicked skills in the kitchen, maybe this would be a slight inconvenient because of the lack of space thereof but i'm chilled with it because i do not like to cook i eat to live not live to eat and there's this kettle got that off kupang the cheapest one i could get there's a blender bin that our previous our old teacher who left us needed to get rid of stuff from his place. I, I said, hey Ben, what are you doing with this blender? He's like, nothing, I was gonna throw it out. Do you want it? Hell yeah, took the blender cause I thought I was gonna be on this health liquid diet binge, but didn't work, just ended up making smoothies. Rock on. And then the microwave. The microwave, it's part of the contract. You get a microwave, it comes with your contract. It comes with the house essentially as part of your contract. Anyway, and then we have some place, a place here to put, you know, some stuff. If you want to be, if you're the decorative type, a plant mom, you know, you can put some of your house plants there, didn't do that. Your dishwashing gloves for me was enough and so forth. And then I need to actually wash the dishes, but this is your sink. I like this sink because, you know, you can change the water pressure from sprinkly to solid sprinkly solid anyway let's not waste water um and then cupboard space here i i just made it a point not to get too many things to fill it out ideally in my ideal home hopefully my future dream home i would be in a position to you know fill everything to the brim but i it got me because I'm not going to be staying here forever, so it just doesn't make sense to be getting a whole lot of things, especially because I have a nine hour day, so I don't need a lot of things, technically speaking, says the person who likes things. This was, uh, this is an automatic hand washing machine actually over there. One of my kid's mom got me that for Teacher's Day this year. I think I'll take it back home to SA with me, some mugs glasses tumblers and yeah and then some more here some tea some chakra chakra chopsticks obviously uh being here need those um and other stuff and the one other thing i forgot to say just it's just, just a thing here and i've seen it actually in one or two other apartment tours like especially ones based in korea just having wet wipes is a thing here like and it's grown on me you know just having wet wipes constantly around you it's always at the school wherever you look in, at every corner there's wet wipes um so i decided you know what let me just be within the culture and me too i want wet wipes Oh my goodness, I've been in the kitchen for 0 0.9 seconds and no fridge has been located. What? 
Are you sure? Did you look carefully? Well then, have no fear. The fridge is here. Yes, Abantubam. Yo kele e fridge. It's giving cupboard. It's giving illusion. It's giving deception. Uh, it's giving everything but a fridge. You open it and voila. What do we have here? Okay, it's a fridge. Nothing spectacular. What I do like about this fridge is it's spacing. There is a lot of space compared to my previous apartment. I mean, I always have something to compare this place to. I lived in Squala beforehand. Um, there's the freezer. Goodness, like, did I not get two of these ice creams only to find that I was under the impression that this was just apple because I just saw red and then I was like okay I'm having an apple popsicle literally put that in my mouth all I could taste is itamati guys like I could not even function and so I have not had the second one since in fact I don't know who I'm gonna give it to because I'm not a person who wants to waste food anyway um yeah so that's the fridge um okay tomato flavored popsicle out living room in okay get bye bye kishi says it bon you says your home but you know uh now it's about making our way to The hood, I'm making my way through the hood, sipping on this yak. Na 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 Hush, puppy. Okay, so I think the best way to start our way to the living room is with a set of batteries. So, look what switching on these batteries are gonna do for this lifetime. Let there be light. Oh, okay. Oh, disappointing me in front of the people. Um, yeah, hello. Okay, so this must be my favorite part of the house. I had to kind of make it my own. Uh, the old Thai restaurant of where I used to stay back in Ilsan last year. Oh, Bong Insa Temple. I went one Sunday by myself. Sunday solo adventures. Not far from Coex. This was at Sokcho, first trip I had taken coming to Korea like during the summer holiday last year. The solo adventures strike again, went to the Delight exhibition, very cool. They had like jumbotrons of you all over the show. Um, uh, yeah, old, old school, old school. Uh, current school, old kids. <laughs> yeah, man. A trip down memory lane. This is my bicycle. Uh, it's a secondhand bike I got last year. Just I felt like the best way to see the area at the time and still now is on a bicycle. It's very cyclist friendly here. Um, you see a lot of people on two wheels more so than anything. So it just made sense. Um, and it's also a fun way to just get around. For me personally and then skipping rope what do you call this a dumbbell right i don't know for weights it's like a weights weights type of thing not actually mine was ben remember ben blender ben former teacher who gave me the blender also gave me this haven't really used it at all i order water a lot of the times i i i, I don't drink from the tap i don't know i just have this weird thing of drinking from the tap I don't know why but now it's actually from when I moved to Korea I never had an issue with that in South Africa but anyway and then uh, this is the switch also controlled by the master switch it's like a touch pad for switching on the light of the house so um, switching on the bottom left corner switches that on switch off switching there Touching there or tapping on there switches on the whole house. And then this one switches on just that light in the kitchen. And then this one here. 
this tablet over here it's built into the wall um this is a smart house just by the way literally i don't really use it at all actually the only time it will be effective or it will switch on or do something is when there's someone at the door when someone rings the doorbell outside it will show who is outside you will see the face of the person um, at your door so if it's a criminal disguised as your grandma you will see that person right here on this tablet and also if you leave your door open for an X amount of time because you know it locks on its own so if it doesn't close if the house doesn't recognize that it's closed and locked it will signal you i don't even know what this is you say i don't even want to touch it because what i i'm scared i'm gonna break the house i will break this house and that's the way exploration defeats itself but yes so it will alert you the person in the house that hey listen your door isn't closed i was not able to lock myself this is the house talking okay moving on from the switch situation we've got some of our devices here hooked up to our tv with an hdmi cable I'll switched it on hey now hey now i've been there i've been there yeah i told the boys i love before i was there first i went to the namsang tower also known as the soul tower yeah i did anyway um okay, so this is just like my decompressing entertainment area where i just like will watch something to escape the littleness of my life the kitchen is over there we were just in the kitchen we are in lounge yakona lounge yenda i have a, a, a the you know those floor chairs that i i actually got that last year i had it because the space did not compare to the one I have now, my previous space. So this was a necessity for me to sit. It was either this or the bed or the chair, like the desk chair that was there. That's the chair. I brought it with me on moving day. And then the couch I got on coupon. Yes, and then I have my emoji, my nerdy emoji. The love of my life same person who got me the pandora earrings also got me that <laughs> so he's always with me everywhere i go and then yeah and this is just it really and truly nothing special this is the whole apartment the girl likes pink this is my bedroom so there's a sliding door to give that sense of division between your lounge and your bedroom, like sanctuary situation. See, like every night before I sleep, I will just, it's innate for me to close it. There's no one here, nothing's gonna happen. Just There was no bed when I came, when I first moved here. And that's why the futon, the blow up mattress is upstairs because this is a loft right so there's an upstairs so i had to get a blow-up mattress to accommodate me while i wait for the bed to arrive and this bed is hard as the mattress is not my cup of tea it's not my flavor but you know what we stay grateful at least we have a place to sleep i have a basket of clean clothes and uh, for dirty laundry, which is this one clean laundry, which is yeah This is the the basket I use when I'm too tired to fold the laundry off the rack I'll just throw it in there. This I use this is like a microfiber Head headwear you wear when your hair is wet instead of wrapping around a towel It just absorbs all the excess water. So I like it's convenient. You just put it on and then here is The window this is the only source of natural lighting one gets throughout this whole house it comes from the bedroom I never got around to putting blinds or curtains 
because I just felt like I'm not going to be here for so long. So if I was staying here for three years, maybe yes. But yeah, luckily for me, the lighting in the morning doesn't really bother me. And then this is the view I have from my bedroom. It's not a balcony. Let's just put that out there now. It looks like it, but it's not. And I overlook a mountain. And this is Sheheng. Sheheng is where I stay. Um, it's about roughly an hour from Seoul. It's not much, but it's home. I'm based in what most would consider the rural part of korea i'm not anywhere near the city center so that's why there's like a lot of nature within close proximity within full view and i'm not hating that you know the thing is a lot of people tend to be uh how bent on being near the city which i understand fully why that's the case mostly because obviously there's a lot more to do in seoul but you know taking into consideration the transport system here and the the efficiency of it. it's a big schlep for me personally um being based in the rurals in the bundus i'm okay with it um in fact it's like it's a nice mental break you know giving you the country life and the city life you know best of both worlds this is it the last thing i need to show now is just the upstairs Okay, now we move. Clubs going up on a Tuesday. It's actually a Saturday, but okay. We going up because these are the stairs. Okay, so. Okay, so I am within. Let's start off here. There's a switch also for the upstairs part of this place as i said before it is a loft so a common uh, trait of a loft is that it does have a a uh, little upstairs room going on but i decided to use this place as storage more so than anything it's like a an attic and there here's the blow up mattress i was talking about this bedding is actually from my previous apartment i got that bedding last year so yeah i mean if you want to come visit me just know you got a place to stay okay switching that off okay oh that was a lot so i uh hope you enjoyed this pathetic attempt of an apartment tour. I don't know what else to do. I think the best thing is to actually switch off the light. You know, I had to, I had to switch off the lights uh, because I told you about these utilities bills now. They ain't cute. This is why I just, I relish at this apartment. As I said before, I think, is I have something to compare this place to and where I was staying at before, uh-uh, was not the one. I know I bag on it a lot. I know there are many people that would kill to have, you know, even a decent place to live, let alone having a roof over their heads. I truly appreciate where I stay. I, I'm not even gonna beat around the bush. I really like it here. For me, living space is so important I did not like my old apartment. I didn't. But anyway, that's besides the point. At least I got to have a somewhat very cool living experience abroad, even if it was just for one year. Had a crappy one for the first year, and then the second year, not too shabby. So I'm happy. <laughs> I'm going to leave now and make myself some grub. I need to get some food in me. Thanks. Thank you so much for listening to me. You know what to do. You already know what it is. Don't forget to interact if you're going to lurk. And that's that on that. Peace. Peace.